So it's slow, but it's not bad. It also dodges Inquisition. I think I'll just go ahead and keep. Dodges Inquisition, call my shot. <clears throat> Learning from Seth Nevermore. Well, well, I think against Black Green, this hand's pretty good. It dodges Inquisition, you don't feel on a mulligan against a discard deck, and yeah. Bunch of lands. Verdict's probably pretty good against that deck. Okay, yeah, he knew about it. He knew that was my draw step. Did he target me again? It was Bubble. All right, so he knows I'm drawing a triangle. So I could play Flagstone, but I don't think I can get, I think Trump's just good, right? If I'm off to a really bad start, I might play the, um, the historic tournament. All right, so gotta assume fatal push. I think I'm still gonna go ahead and play all map here. White, red, green, blue. Pretty good, obviously. I can get Valky next turn. He's trying to... Okay, so he has Fatal Push, but no lands. No fur... No... He doesn't have Triple Black, so he can't go Lurus Bubble, Fatal Push. Is probably what's going on here. Remember when I played Vintage Challenge? Yeah, it was a bit too easy. Logan's double king, the slowest seal format of all time. That's not good. Well, at least he's playing something fast in this, uh, man. Do you still double Q sauce? I used to double Q a lot, and it was just too miserable when things went bad. It was too frustrating. Said it was not worth it. Obviously, I never really played the fastest decks either. If you're playing like two really fast decks, I mean, it's fine. Flagstone for Omnath, oh yeah, good point. So it's one, two lands. That was a good draw. Um, Let's see, I wanna do it this turn. Gives me a little extra mana. Can cast a fairy, maybe I top deck something good. Or should I do the fairy first? Oh, I forgot to float first. Oops. That was bad. Should I get Savai in case I already have Overgrown Tomb? Another blue source maybe is good. It's like hmm. another blue source, I guess. Just bounce the ooze because it's more expensive. Unfortunate. Oh, I could have just bounced Omnath. Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> Dude, that's so bad. Oh well. We need extra cards. Yeah, that was heinous, obviously. Let's see if my deck bails me out. It looks for it's nice. So I probably want to attack and then wrath, wrath away. Hmm. 
Yeah, it, it is true. It's nice to get rid of Dolores, but still pretty bad. I need to focus. I need to play a bit better. All right, it's not worth keeping on math anymore. I've left myself a lot of time. I almost have, I have what, one, two, three, four. So I'm one away from Valkyrie and he's at six. I have almost no bad top decks. Obviously, <laughs> classic, <laughs> one of the like five cards that are not a mountain, not a, not a spell. I mean, either way, I kind of blew it this game, just missing out on the extra draw, bouncing the ooze, that's super, super bad. Five, ten. Oh, he has lethal next turn. All right, lucky, kind of lucky. <coughs> Made a pretty bad mistake. All right, so his beaters are mostly green. Hex drinker, ooze, Lurus, goif. Gust is good. He could be self to Madcap. I wonder if he's self to Madcap or not. <coughs> he plays four confident, does he? Okay, four confident, free use, four go, four hex drinker. And sideboard for this matchup, he doesn't have too too much. A couple of rain of tears. He's probably somewhat soft to the madcap after sideboards. What's bad against him though? Nothing's bad, right? Does wildfire do? I have four flagstones. <coughs> So it's like a super explorer. So I potentially want for four confidence and two lures, I think maybe two purges, a bit too reactive. Anger of the God seems okay-ish. Stuff. Is he gonna need cold to mat cap? He might, I mean, he's gonna have a couple of Assassin's Trophy, I guess. So I guess I don't want it. I think I want like, maybe these five cards. Oh, I have Veil too against him. How good is Veil? He's kind of okay. He has Rain of Tears too. It protects my... Yeah, I just board out the Explorers. My Teferi's medium. I don't know about these gusts. I don't know why I want gusts. Is Teferi really good? I mean, Teferi's never bad, right? Decent against Tarmogoyf and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know why I brought in gusts. This hand's pretty awful. Like, Valky's not really a card. I mean, I guess I've turned to Gust. It's bad against Dark Confident. I have two Dryads, which is kind of dead. I don't know why I brought it Gust. This hand would be so much better if... Maybe I'm supposed to trim a Dryad in this matchup too. And maybe I want some Wildfires for the card advantage. Anyways. The old Flagstone's not the problem. I think Valky can be fine. I can't even cast it though, because I have to get Ketra Triome. 
Yeah, it's a tiny bit better. Might not matter if he has all the discard. God, I hate the way I sideboarded. <clears throat> Who won 25k yesterday? No idea. I didn't see anyone brag about it on Twitter. Who knows, maybe they didn't send out the emails yet. I didn't even play. I'm just too lucky. I would have won for sure. That is a little bit. Ça, je suis pas du tout intéressé pour des decks en BO. Hein. All right, kind of a tough spot, right? Don cast Valky. He took Reclaimer, so he probably doesn't have a fatal push in hand. I have to choose between blue mana and black mana. I mean, this could be good on seven at some point. Kind of tough. <coughs> Doesn't have that many creatures in his deck though. It would be nice to have black at some point if he puts Luris in his hand. Take Luris, copy Luris. Might have a Brub Decay in hand. Maybe I should have waited. Dawn Blue, Green Red. I have a double white card in my deck. Maybe I want a Raw Green. No Salt I try on now, you need Max Mountains. Looks like he had, I could have copied a Dark Continent last turn. That would have been nice. I wonder if I should just play Reclaimer first. He doesn't have great removal for Omnath, honestly. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So he has a 2 turn clock. I guess I have to play Omnath. Omnap, hope he doesn't have a way to get rid of it. Not our dog confident. Bubble push. Bubble pulse. Have overgrown tomb in my deck. Uh, Did I try Band Control or Kasmina? I, I think Kasmina is a bad card. Is that the new one? Seems pretty bad. I never tried it though. What did he reveal a land? I mean, I guess the Gust kind of good here. On the Plaquen board, maybe more proactively explore, bring back in the Teferi. Teferi seems much better on the play. He kind of had it this game. I mean, I had two mulligan and he had uh, just pretty solid draw. I'm not even sure what my ad is. They're on the play. Yeah, I mean, I brought it them on the draw. I think they're good on the draw too. To take your creatures from removal can be nice. Which one do I want to bounce? The Hex Drinker? Protection from what? Instance. I'm gonna have to block Bob. And too bad I can't get another land in the yard somehow. So 
you would need five mana, so you can't make a protection from everything next turn. Oh, I need him to have a goif in hand. Oh, never mind. So now he can get another flagstone. That's not how my cards work. There's this thing called summoning sickness. Man, I'm one minute off. You don't even have to be scared of Gust. All he has to do is pump, pump, pump. <coughs> All right. I don't think I want to do path, honestly. Let's see. All right, I think these are the cards I definitely want. 59. <clears throat> and then Bolt, maybe. Bolt or Path. Maybe Path is better. Pathing my own creature could come up. Madcap plan. Yes, Paul's and a couple trophies, I think. I think Madcap Plan is good when they have like no outs or they have to guess. All right, I think I'm gonna do the proactive plan. I think Cleansing Wildfire might be good too. Maybe over a Dryad. No green mana. And Scape Shift's kind of a break. Eh, it's a medium break. It's still a card he has to get rid of at some point. No green man is a bit unfortunate. I have a lot of lands in my deck, obviously. I can maybe keep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, nineteen. All right, I'm gonna keep, I think, and I'm gonna get rid of Valakut. Um, I think I kinda wanna play Reclaimer on the one, in case he doesn't have push. Mulligan as well. Which line do I wanna get? White, green? It's a bit greedy, but it has like tremendous upside. Could have bottom dry it too, and dodge Inquisition was my line. Dodge turn one Inquisition. That'd have been kind of a cool line. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't think about it. If I thought about it, I think I might have bottom dry it. I've been happy to have an extra land here. Yeah, I think maybe in hindsight that was the line. <clears throat> if he doesn't have any thoughts, he's, I think I'm in a decent spot. Because just removal was for dry and makes it that I can't. Oh yeah, I can cast green, red, white, blue. All right, no thoughts, he's please. I think he would have played it already if he had it. It's nice little insurance. Bring to light pretty much ends the game. He kind of has to feel over in my Valakut probably. 
And then I gain four life. Maybe he wants to do it in my upkeep. Maybe he gives me Valakut for a turn, puts Loris in his hand. Loris doesn't do much for him, though. He has no bubble, no nothing. Alright, which basic do I want to get? If my Dryad dies, I have green, blue, black, white. I could get another red or another blue. Maybe blue's better. Wow. He just has it. He just has it all. I should keep that in case he has Valakut. Man, imagine if I'd kept the Valakut over the Dryad and dodge Inquisition, this game would be pretty much over. I just misplayed, I think. I mean, obviously Dryad was pretty good for me, but keeping Dryad could have been good. It's not even clear it was a mistake, because how many Field of Rune does he play? Uh, he plays four Field of Rune. Which makes my play worse. I mean, still top deck mode. I still, I still win if I don't bring two light. I have four, four draw steps that pretty much instantly end the game, and I still have verdict for hex drinker, and he doesn't have much going on. All right, I should have held my flagstone. Oh yes, I would love to use it. What you get was bring to light. Well, now I can just get scape shift, but Valky, uh, Valky is pretty good too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a Valakut was one, two, three, four, five, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I'll do Valakut just so I'm sure I'm not misclicking. Valakut, mountain, mountain, mountain. Mountain, mountain, mountain. All right, that was close, man. Small mistakes. That's crazy. Ugh, Valky bring to light. Island go, same. Sambog. Their last modern tournament is Is It Blitz? Azorius Control, Is It Blitz? They like to play Nick to Light. In Pioneer, they were playing Five Color Control. So it could be really aggro, it could be they're mulliganing. I don't think I can keep this hand right. Just does absolutely nothing. Turn to Valky. Alright, I guess I'll keep. Keep and bottom and explore. Or bottom an elvish reclaimer. Probably bottom an elvish reclaimer actually. What's the best deck in modern? I think the deck I'm playing is very good. I also like Esper Control a lot. Obviously, Heliot Company is considered, you know, the best deck by a lot of people. And Is It Price is also a very good deck. Are they Mulligan to four? The Mulligan to five? 
How you like the mana? <laughs> it was fine when I played the deck last time. These hands have been a bit sketch. Obviously. Oh no, they mulligan to free. How do you mulligan to free? What are you playing? Oh, they're playing the Dwarven Mind deck. They're playing like Titan. Titan was Dwarven Mind. Alright, what's my play here? Dryad Explorer, I guess. Uh, let's see. So, they're playing... Was it the last Modern Prelim? They're probably playing this deck. So you transmogrify. Oh, it's a mountain, so you can get it with Farseek. I didn't see that the first time around. Four ball, two fire prophecy, two red, four titan. So they're just a very a titan Valkyrie deck, right? Steam vent. Well, there's no steam vent in this list, so maybe their list is a bit different. Hmm. Anyways, um, very scaled. Oh, that's nine damage. Understood. I guess I should have kept bolt up so I can bolt the token. That's pretty bad. You had one job. I mean, I probably still kill them next turn. Am I gonna lose because I didn't keep bolt up? That'd be so dumb. I'd like be so upset at myself. I'm actually so bad. Just embarrassingly bad. Oh well. Oh, they break. <laughs> On top of everything. Alright, so they're playing that version of the deck. Dude, how do I make these plays? I, the reason I did this plays, I was like, well, if it's Titan, I don't really care because I don't want to take two damage. But it's just so bad. I just don't know what's wrong with me sometimes. All right, let's see if I can find the list of that deck. All right, there's a version of Zemmercall. They might have both. Let's see if I can find a version that plays a... Uh... Wait, was my, my opponent was an 80 card deck, right? There's a version that was thingy, but it looks like way different. Anyways, let's see. Veil, Gust seems good against them. Um, they didn't reveal Yorion. Did you find the actual version of the deck? I don't think they had Yorion, right? So, yeah, I know how they're trying to win. So on my cheap interaction, Purge is good. I mean, depends, right? Oh, Purge hits the token, right? Purge is good. Verdict. I mean, it kills Emrakul. I could... What about Teferi? It bounces the token. It's good if they have counter spells after sideboard. <clears throat> All right, 
right, I want my cheap removal, I want my ramp, I want my win conditions. And it's unclear if cleansing wildfire is better than Teferi or Ren or... All right, I guess I'll keep. I mean, I'm assuming they have some kind of plan against the car lightning bolt, right? The fairy stops the dragon trigger. Oh, wow. All right, I should have the fairy in. I don't know if I need to keep red up right away, but just in case. Not sure how they would ramp to four mana. What was that? They might be playing a blue base version, was maybe remand and whatnot. Okay. Well, I'm glad I, uh... I don't know, I guess it doesn't make a difference really. Should I just shock? Should I play a fetch? I'm just shock it gives them another exhaustion, I guess. Oh yeah, they're just blue so they can actually cast their time locks and stuff. All right, let's see. All right, I want to tap like that. Could keep like double removal spell up. I don't think I need to. I mean, also, if they don't kill my dryad, like every Misty is a shock. Let's see. Does Reclaimer do anything for me? It does kill them guaranteed. All right. Hopefully, this is not a mistake. They only have four cards in hand. They need to deal with Dryad, have the combo, have something to beat my removal. I'm going to play a little Historic in between rounds, assuming we win this round fast. All right. Thank God I didn't get punished for my incredibly dumb mistake. If he would... That's what I'm playing. All right, lands and spells. I have my one scape shift, so... If it gets Thoughtseize, it's kind of annoying, but I can just probably win without, um, without scale. He knows what I'm playing. All right, fair fight. I'm assuming you just play Triumph on the one. So I can't remember if he has like sprite dragons and whatnot or whatever. It's try hard, try hard today. I'm gonna go look up his. So he plays way more modern than me, so he probably knows what's in my deck. All right, so we're probably up against this. Push, Bolt, Unearth, oh, so he has an early pressure with Sprite Dragon, backed up by, oh, so it's Counter Dragon. Pretty heavy on the counter spells. All right, I should play Fetchlan or Flagstone. I think probably Flagstone. And he knows I drew a flagstone. What did he target himself? He targeted himself because he had a fetch land. Dirty. <clears throat> Look at that bolt over uh, bolt over path to exile. You see the difference between losing and winning, probably. All right, I think I should keep the flagstone, right? I should just play stomp. 
I was wondering if the mana base can support Fatal Push, maybe in this deck. Yeah, Veil is going to be nice. I was considering playing four Veils, just pretty great Veil deck. Oh, he's just dead, right? Oh no, he could have four seven. Wait, wait. <clears throat> playing Explorer is a free roll. Get Sacred Foundry, I guess. And then do you have Force of Negation, Mr. Sp All right. Feels pretty good to win game one. It's probably like easier matchup. So he has two Gust. Tails and probably not. What's he gonna board out? He's gonna board out Bolt maybe? What are his bad cards? Bolt and then he's bringing push. Board out Bolt, bring in. He might not bring in Thoughtseize because of Veil. He might just do the Gusts. Definitely the Gus, definitely the push. Probably thought sees. He has like more cards to bring in that he wants to. I mean, he can always cut Thoughts car and stuff. What about me? I want Veil. Definitely don't want Path. <clears throat> I think I want Ren. How many basics does he play a lot? Prob don't want Verde. Do I want Purge? I don't think so. Do I want Bolt or Purge? Bolt is cheaper and easier to cast. Do I want Gus? No, do I want Purge? Probably not. Do they have a way? He has one Colgan's command in his side. Uh, yeah, he has Cryptic command and stuff. Yeah, that's not good. Bolt or Purge? Count on Earth. Oh yeah, that's a good point. It's also like if somehow the Sprite Dragon gets out of hand and I top deck a Purge, it's not dead. Purge might... Question is well on Bolt over... over other... I mean, I could see trimming a bring tool. No green mana again. It's been a problem today. He mulligan. What did we say? I had like 19 sources of green or something. Could One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, oh, only 16, only 15. Oh, last time I had Flagstone in my opening here. I have three draw steps for green for my hand to be deep. They mulled, I think I mulled too. I don't know if mulling, if the mulling affects that you should mull. What other cards can I draw that I'm happy to draw besides green source? Happy if I draw... Can't even cast a... 60-ish percent to draw a green in my first three draw steps. If you had two purge, that's like 70. It's not much better. Probably just bottom vault. See, I would have drawn Ketra Trial. I am gonna lead was. I'll lead was Valakut. 
leave myself the option of cycling the triome. All right, no sprite dragon. That's pretty good. <clears throat> All right, I'll still hang on to the. Oh, that was maybe a mistake playing planes. He's got hauling mine going on. Well, if he has fatal push, if he if he, he needs fatal push plus force of negation. If he does, I'm in trouble though. Get some red mana. Maybe rug. Plains or a mountain, I'm pretty far from the count. Do I really want to shock myself? All right, nice. Let's get a Valky. Play it as Tabalt. And now I have a de decision. How does he get rid of Tabalt? Unless he posted last time, he just doesn't. Just a You would need like Sprite Dragon and like triple spell. <clears throat> I guess he needs Sprite plus Dragon. If I kill Lurus, I mean, Lurus is not that great for me. I'm gonna play. All right, no Sprite Dragon before the bubble. Is Sprite Dragon non-creature or just instant and sorcery non-creature? <laughs> Rip. <laughs> just ignoring it. So he has the Cryptic. All right, he might have Snapcaster. In hindsight, I wish I'd. Well, never mind. I can't play Tibalt with. Uh... All right. Wait, but that goes back to my hand. I guess he has nothing better to do. Wait, what? Oh, he has Force of Negation? Wait, why didn't he snap cast her? Th so if I to Fairy, he's gonna Force. And then if he has a discard spell, I lose. I to fairy, I can plus, and then he can. He probably we. He probably doesn't have bolt, right? Bolt has got to be. So I think I should lead with to fairy. Even I expose. He was just playing scared. He didn't have force a few turns ago, but he might have it now. Maybe he doesn't think I have a fetchable black land. Nah. I mean, I guess it's possible. I 
How many Thoughtsies in his list? Free Snapcast from Age. Two Thoughtsies. I think I like Teferi first. I think he has Force to play. And then play with Fetch. I guess if he has Cryptic, he has enough mana to bounce. Recast it and Thought sees me. Alright. I guess I got wrecked. I guess if I just play Valky last turn, I win. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm going to cycle first because I don't mind drawing a mountain. All right, that's just game. I guess it's not game actually. Should probably shoot him. Actually, hmm. Maybe I should just kill the Snapcasters because I have Teferi in play. They're not dead, right? Oh, I still have an Exile Land. Oops. Getting the help from chat. No one tells Spike. Uh, I almost missed that. Hall of Fame, by the way. The real Hall of Fame is chat, but... Oh, Ozymandias. Lurus. So something fairly aggressive. My hand looks okay. They targeted themselves and they're not shuffling. So I could go. I could go wooded foothills, bolt whatever they play. If they do play something, and then flagstone cleansing wildfire, and then something. Or I could play Valakit now. Is there an upside? Not really. I think the upside is I don't have to take one damage and turn on their Scourge of the Skyclave, I guess. Inquisition. <laughs> the bots. Why do you time them out, Karen? Pigs are wonderful, uh, wonderful creatures. They're very I hate to say it, but they do, they do taste very good too. All right, do I need to... Do you have learned? Getting basic mountain is... As basic mountain into basic forest is pushing it a bit. <clears throat> basic mountain into breeding pool. But that doesn't cast Omnath. Maybe I get Steam vents here. Yeah. Make their scorch a bit. Two. 
See, I keep drawing my one on there like a champ. Maybe I should play more. I think you play Omnath first, right? Just secure the card advantage. This way they have to deal with Omnath and deal with my Dryad in hand and deal with Should have played around it, G-Champed. I too wonder the same thing every night after stuffing myself. <clears throat> so I... Or I can go... What could they have? Could have Dismember. If I play Dryad and they have Dismember, they have Lurus in hand though. They need to have exactly Dismember. And I still get to... Hmm. I can play Bog first. I can play Bog, remove their graveyard, then I play Dryad. Get a trigger, target Death Shadow. If they dismember in response, I can Heath again, but it doesn't do anything. And then how much damage do I take next turn? Assuming they don't top deck, I take 10 damage and I can still Verdict. Hmm, now what? I don't know, wait for Luris probably, right? Top deck though. I should do it right away. All right, I have all mana. I wanna get... Bolt, uh, Bolt self. Huh. Played a bit scared. They're pretty far behind still. It's kind of scary because any, any Death Shadow just kills me pretty fast. I mean, Scourge, I guess, is the scariest. So fetch land, they die. Pretty much any top deck, they die. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Like Flaxone was lethal. Fetch was lethal. Bring to light was lethal. I was gonna ask the same thing, can they beat Platinum Imperium? They probably have like a Culligan's Command or and backed up by Veil though. Death Shadow. So the one list I found has one Blood Chiefs first, one Assassin's Why do I play Valky? Because you can get it with Bring to Light and play it as a Planeswalker part. Yeah, I have a few answers. I mean, we have the same problem as against Logan. 
The card advantage of cleansing wildfire is nice. They had to take it this game. Would they keep K Command? I think K Command's a pretty good card against me. Kills Reclaimer, gets back their shades. This card, it's like pretty mediocre. I'll never I wonder if Reclaimer is too awkward. I also wonder if Teferi on the draw is good enough. Maybe not. Not very exciting, but it's not going to mull again. It's kind of annoying to not have it again, though. I need green mana, and I want to get a duel that makes red. <clears throat> Could maybe just fetch basic forest on turn two, play Valakut, get basic forest. If they make me discard explore, I can just play, just playing Venon. one. There's a lot of lands that come into play tapped. That's... On the way to draw these veils. It's not our thing I should try and do. It's keep green mana up whenever I can to make them fear the veil. Oh, they had their own veil? Oh, that's probably... What's the one mana? I guess it could be push. In case I play Reclaimer. Alright, I need to bring to light in my top two cards. Arbiter for MTG Arbiter, thank you so much for it. <clears throat> Does that kill them? One, two, yeah, I a veil backup for this member and a veil. Oh, hey Spike, I think things didn't go well. Thanks for the big raid. Welcome everyone. I think we're about to be 4-0 in the moderate challenge and I'm gonna be playing uh, some historic in between rounds. I'm assuming if people are watching me play modern, they probably know who Aspiring Spike is, but if you don't and you like modern, you should 100% give him a follow. All right, that's, that's hitting on Veil. All right, it's just lethal as long as I don't make a really dumb mistake. Pay two. All right, they had to take four. I was gonna say, how do they know I have Explore in hand? All right, chat. Gideon's Raven Sword. Okay. Another Lurus deck. I don't know what 
what I'm up against. Not like I have much of decisions right now anyways. Is it Boggles? Oh. The other combo deck. So do you just bolt here? <clears throat> or do you to fairy minus? I think just bolting is correct. Now what? Dry doesn't do much for me. If I to fairy, I get to start. Assuming to fairy first is better. I wonder if they can kill me. Probably not. They could kill me if they had the black card. But if they tutor for devoted druid, probably means they don't. All right, that's game, right? Just got a escape ship. I don't know why I'm doing that. Escape. So I just get four Valkits? Well, I guess I need to get at least two. Oh no, I don't even need to get two. <clears throat> All right, they took their misclick equity thing. Oh, this is where I'm not having, I guess, Gust and Anger are all okay. I'm guessing Empyrean doesn't do anything against them. Ren and Six seems fine. So maybe these four cards. To Fairy, I guess. Maybe Bajookabug. What should my last? Red and six could be mediocre. Yeah, bug is probably good, but not great. Not about lands anyways. I wonder if they have any hate. Valky is unnecessary. I think you need to keep Valky, right? Because you get in spots where if you board out Valky and you just have Brain to Light on five, you just have nothing good to get. Also, just playing it for two is pretty good against them. <clears throat> YG champs. Minds think alike. Should I board out a land? Genius. Wow, slow down, buddy. Oh, you're talking about me? <laughs> Omnath? I don't know. Omnath's always good, right? What is my worst card? The fairy's pretty bad against them, but the fairy's never that bad. I'll just board out all the. The control hand? Seems fine. They're mulliganing too. Oh, I guess Bug is good against them too because they have Lurus. Oh, they're down to three cards, chat. I think we got this one. That's my second opening today that Mulligans to three or four. Would... <laughs> it's 
escape shift control. They could maybe win with company draws if they play company. I that deck plays company though. I'd have to draw pretty horrendously, but. What the hell is the mulligans? I mean, it's usually how you go X and O in a tournament. A little, luck, a little bad luck on the other side. Escape ship doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't ramp me, right? I get flagstone. Uh, it doesn't cheat lands into play. Kenji doing all uh, projecting. Kenji. Do you like Kenji or Numa better? Or do you don't, not care? Probably don't care. Should I keep my instant speed removal spell? It's kind of nice. So I don't just die to um, <laughs> the black card plus Vizier. Or do you still die to it? Is, do, you have a, do you get a window? Do you even get a window to bolt if they have it? Nummy gummy, my little nummy gummy. <clears throat> so they go, yeah, you get the window, right? Because if they go Vizier and then launch, you bolt the Vizier, if they go launch first, um, all right, I will take a draw step and I will anger up the gods. All right, what's my absolute best play here? Bring to light a numnaf. That's kind of fancy, but is it actually good? Could just do Valky. What about just getting a Dryad? It's pretty bad if they have Path to Exile in their deck, I guess, to play. So Valky is just I can bring two light into Omnath and play a second one, but then I don't have bolts and I can die if they have tank. I guess I could have Celestial Purge, but then I still probably get my seven slam drop. And I can maybe kill them next turn. Um, I guess this hand's a keep in the dark. I haven't had the Reclaimer draws once. Match. Could be a red green Ponza. So I probably want to play my fetch land next turn. In case. Yeah, it looks like Ponza. Chat, how does it work with Dryad and uh, Blood Moon? Is it layers? It's wh whichever comes last. I can't. Whichever comes last. I guess I should have not fetched in of their turn. <clears throat> That's actually kind of can just uh
kind of nice. I can do that, and even if they have Blood Moon, I can get. Valky is not that impactful right now. <coughs> kind of sad I could to get really. May just get Ragnar and Trium and play Omnath. And then if they have Blood Moon, just sucks to be me. If they have Blood Moon, I can still... I can't get Island and play on math. I don't have the mana. I think getting white mana is step one here. Fetch land would obviously be amazing. Not a draw out of fetch land. All right, that's it's a good draw. I'd have to deal with a lot. I'd have to deal with Omnath. To deal with Reclaimer. Also just win if I have land land on top because I can explore into scape shift. I have two on top lands. Would I have played moon last turn? I don't think so. Not when I have. They might have played moon last turn. Getting dry out seems more important though. Do I have a good block here? So, if they have bolts, they probably would have bolted on that before attacking. If I block elemental, I think they have stun, I guess. I probably don't want to block. Could be like they're going to play Blood Moon, though. They put me in a tough spot. <clears throat> So take it. <clears throat> All right, lands, please. That's a Or is there something I can get with uh, bring to light that's really good right now? What if I bring to light cleansing wildfire? That's too fancy. All right, I guess that because if I don't untap land, I just win. <laughs> can I do something cool with scape shift? I can scape shift, sag the flagstone, get Omnath triggers. That gives me only four mana though. And I can't cast Verdict off it, I can cast the Fairy off it. I can like scape shift, play the Fairy, bounce Bone Crush. Can I kill them with Cave Shift? Prime was Blood Moon top deck. Shift gives me up to seven lands. Or 
because of the way it stacks, right? Wait, wait, wait. Sag the flagstone. Yeah, it might kill them. You get the land after, so it deals free damage. <clears throat> it's still not bad. I. So if I do the scape shift line, I can get Valkut and a lot of mountains. I can kill their Bone Crusher. I get the Omnath trigger, puts Ren down to one. I can play Teferi, I can attack Ren, I can bounce like the token. That puts me in a pretty good spot. It's basically what's the best against Blood Moon, right? I'm pretty screwed either way against Blood Moon. attack <sighs> escape shift kill bone crusher plus the fairy leave omnath back and then they just send everything out to fairy <coughs> Yeah, okay, what's the best if they don't have Blood Moon? Blood Moon is... I mean, they 100% would have played Blood Moon over Bone Crusher last turn, so we know they don't have it. We have another Omnath, and that's why. Scape Shift's not lethal because Flagstone resolves after Scape Shift, so you get the six mountain after. If you got the mountain before, <clears throat> then. All right, if they don't have Blood Moon in their like top two cards, it's probably almost impossible for me to lose. I guess they could have Pillage. Yeah, drawing Scape Shift really made that turn complicated. My brain hurts as well. All right, next turn. Uh oh. All right, season pyro. That is a fast clog, though. I could get just not have lands. They got another free draw steps at Blood Moon if I don't kill them next turn. It's nice. Yeah, magic is easy. Just draw one of my 32 lands. So lucky. People don't give you freebie. They make you do it. No freebies and challenges. If anyone's gonna mess that up, it's me. It's always a bit scary because it asks you first if you wanna pay two, so you're not sure if you got the right lands. It's Purge and Gust. Cleansing might be good too. Math cap against them? If 
the classic question, daily quest, does that deck, does their deck beat an Imperium? Definitely don't want Path. Bolt is really only for the Elf. If they don't have Elf on turn one, Bolt is... I think the Fairy's pretty bad in this matchup. Okay, you can cast it of Blood Moon. Your Anger is very good. So who's going to tell me if Madcap is good against them? This song will drive you mad. This song will drive you mad. Do -do 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 Pillage. All right. So I don't want it. It's a dev and as yeah, def pillage. Okay. Wait, where did my reclaimer go? Is cleansing wildfire good against them? It ramps me. It kills my flax and lets me get like a couple basics. Sounds kind of good in this matchup. Yeah, I know it also kills there. You took for scroll land. I'm aware. Bolt. <coughs> Sorry. Bajuka up for Pyromancer. That's not good enough. I think this looks pretty clean. They played dorks, but. It's only Arbor Elf, and if they don't have Arbor Elf and you have Bolt in hand, it feels really, really bad. But it is a spell you can pass against Blood Moon. Ren and Six might also be good. I mean, I, oh yeah, Cleansing Wildfire is also good, right? Because if they have Blood Moon, I can cast it on one of my lands and just get a basic. I almost had to draw up, turn on a Reclaimer, but I don't have the flagstone. So probably get basic forest on turn one. I'm assuming this is a key reclaimer. Bolt for Magus of the Moon. Do they have that card in their deck? Hmm. What would you cut though? All my other cards are really good. Huh. Doesn't even slow them down that much, right? When I'm on the draw, they still get to cast a free mana card on turn two and then a free mana card on turn three. So it's like kind of cute, but doesn't really do all that much. Am I dehydrated? No, I drank a ton of water. It's just a combination of allergies. I think it gets a bit stuffy in here too because I have the door closed. I'm not really sure why I have the door closed. Having an opening the window at all and because of allergies. Malnourished? No, I'm not malnourished. That might probably be something. All right, I want to play my Temple Garden, right? Hey Adam, I have 10 matches under my belt with this deck. Because I did a leak for Channel Fireball. You can check it out on YouTube. It might actually be up by now. A little spoiler alert on how I did it, that leak for Channel Fireball. Easy 5 0. So I'm currently 10 0 with this deck. Okay. 
coding. I'm just dead, right? Maybe that's another reason to keep in Volt. We didn't see Karn in game one, though. I don't know if Karn is stuck now. It might just be stuck. play tapped, right? <clears throat> How do I beat them? I guess I can just pressure Karn, hope to pressure Karn maybe. Do I still want to sack my Temple Garden? sack thanks for 26 months i guess reclaimer count of counters the artifact right i can just sag the land to target every turn except they're not gonna sag the flat i break even how does this deck do against heliot i don't know i haven't played the matchup yet Google and dried valakut seems pretty strong against them have to tap it now, right? <clears throat> do I sack or do I sack flax down? It's kind of the same thing, right? Is there a difference? If I wait till he use car and I can't tap the land for mana anymore. Sack Forest for another flag. Gets me better mana. Oh no, I want to keep the Flagstone, right? Because I want to have a Flagstone next turn. All right, so I definitely Sack Forest. And I think I just get Red X. All right, hopefully it's bad. Yeah, I need to play fast, I know. I'm just a bit tired and... <clears throat> no. All right, sometimes your opponent is on the play and has a really good hand. I wouldn't say the nuts, but... Oh, speaking of, I can't cast that card anymore, right? Uh, man. I need a... Ah, my one forest in the graveyard. Oh yeah, I get to kill her. Do I have to kill Karn? I mean, what's my out? Purge and Gust. Fair enough to take to kill Karn. And then I shouldn't expose my island. I've in my deck. Right. <coughs> Take that chat. I 
Blood Moon plus Dried is indeed timestamp. But I don't have a force left in my deck. It's in my graveyard. Blackstone still triggers on the moon. I guess we're about to find out. I would guess not, but I'm not a rules expert. It sells, it doesn't. So this is a bit better if they just have stomp. I mean, that reclaimer is not doing that much for me, right? I'm just going to get my... I think I should just get it now. Let's sack. Probably doesn't matter, right? Probably could matter. Oh, I'm too tired to figure it out. All right, purge or gust. Let's go. Yeah, we are fitting our deck, that is true. I have four outs. And I have Anger of the Gods too in the deck. All right, I think I have to block if they... What the hell? Why did it do? I think it will be fine for for game free. This is pretty. I think it's for the most part. Just lethal. Not <laughs> oh, <that's> lethal. <laughs> right. All right, trying at six sounds pretty good on the play. I don't know if Verdict's just bad. It's bad against Blood Moon. It's kind of nice if you can cast it. Yeah, you can cast Madcap plus Moon. Are they really not gonna? You guys want to cut Wildfire when I'm on the play? I think that's totally insane against the Blood Moon deck. Do I cut a Bring to Light maybe? <clears throat> Problem with Madcap Imperion is we just sit there, right, and they have blockers, and at some point they find a GF card in their deck. Could Trim Explore. And could just do that. I don't think I want to do Madcap. And I don't think I want That's kind of bad. I don't have Basic Swamp in my deck. It. I don't even know what I'm thinking about. Just being ridiculous. I'm just gonna draw flag. Claimer. Like actual zero chance of a brain in their deck. Unless they don't have pillage and they're worried about math cap. All right, they mulligans. I'll take it. I'm not sure their deck mulligans that well. 
I guess they all against well to six these days. All right. So against Blood Moon, it's better to play Explore first. It's better to play Explore first no matter what. Oh, I'm too tired. To attack for one, these. I guess it's kind of nice. <clears throat> I'm drawing all my bring to light targets. I mean, it might just win me the game, I guess. Not that bad. Oh, it comes into play on tap too. It's kind of nice. That blood moon might actually help me out. Man, so close. I have a cycling man in hand too. Oh, I can gust, right? I can gust Blood Moon. Sackaland cycle. I'm gonna close Chaz. This is stressing me out. You guys are being. Probably would have led with Stomp if they had Stomp. Flame Slash. This is my only black source. Guess I'll sag Valakut. Get my bit. I think I want to cycle now, right? He said around not our. Uh... Oh. oh. I couldn't know he's going to draw Gust. Guess wrong. That's nice. Need to draw land, land. Oh man. Damn, I only have a flagstone in play. Okay, kind of. That was insane. That was actually absurd. Oh, my rent still dies. For some reason, I thought they only had free power in play. Still good. Dude, I don't have white, really. Do I just scape shift? I can scape shift for my basic planes. They go land moon. Oh, whatever. Hey, you get rid of Magus of the Moon and a blocker.
come on, any lands. I win. Just need to do it fast enough. Which one did I not click? For scooping, man, that that cleansing wildfire into red kind of seemed better than Raymond. Slow hands. Let's see. If I have any green source in my top two, it's like okay. If I don't, I have a turn for dryads. Potential turn 5 kill still. Yeah, I know I can use flex and fix my mana, but then I still have trial and still tapped. I think I need to go any untapped lands in my top two. Temple Garden is my only green source. Oh yeah, there's no even draw that trial. I wonder if you want the abs and trial in this deck. Probably don't really need it. Is that an original uh an original Kenji? Alright, this is actually hurting my head. Sorry, G champs. <coughs> Looks like we bricked. Oh no, wait, that's not how to get that's not how it works. You can float and play now. Is it better to play Dryad? My draw is so slow either way. Play. I don't know, and I would have mulligans. I didn't look up what they were playing because yeah, I should have. Here. I guess I'd draw bring to light next turn. Maybe I messed up. Probably messed up. I guess I was thinking I could play Verdict this way. Was that I actually drew Valakut. Play Dryad. Can I cheat a land in right? I just have to very like try it. There's like no choice. Can I kill Titan? I don't think so. Play Valakut, play Flagstone. I 
Unfortunately, there's nothing fancy I can do right now. So in hindsight, playing Dryad was like infinitely better because it was pretty likely I was just going to cast Titan and then I get to go Dryad Reclaimer this turn. <clears throat> also, I would have my Valkyrie in play. Yeah, that was... Looks like it was over Dryad. No? Mm -hmm. Kind of blew it. I'm guessing I'm just dead. Maybe not. I might not be dead. I'm not dead on the board, right? Because it can get packed up. Again. Much for me. Right. Got the unmoored egos from. Can they do anything good with their titan? Is the question. Can they get enough land? Top eight gets played right away, Leah Stu, or it's just one day events. Damn, it was my puffy eyes. Now, the, the original list from the tournament, the first place list last week, had two on Morty Ghost, two Vanishing Verse, two Rip Apart. Hey, Francisco, you'll know maybe. What was. Why did they have two Sigarda? Does anyone know? This hex proof? Yeah. Also ripped apart in Vanishing Verse made no sense. Like Vanishing Verse too hard to keep white black up against Blood Moon. And rip apart is sorcery speed, so it's okay if you have planes in play. Because any basic planes can. Is land lethal? Oh, yeah, just a land is lethal. I mean, if they don't have a pact or anything. Yeah, any land is lethal. And even if I don't have land, I get to kill a titan. I'd have a ghost quarter. Does that mess with me? Doesn't matter which basic I get, right? Come on, Valakut buddies, we're 6-0, and we're not playing for anything. Please don't make me do it. Dang. I have to get two Valakuts, right? Or else it's not lethal. Oh, I guess I had Flagstone. All right, Wildfire seems pretty good. Gust of Madcap question mark. They played Grazer, so I don't think they have the one one when they play Grazer. The fairy's kind of medium. So sideboard. I haven't brought in Madcap, but I haven't played against Mono Red and whatnot. The 
Fairy means no pact. Madcap is awful in this matchup. <laughs> Wildfire is bad again. <laughs> or should I mulligan more aggressively? What kind of what kind of interaction are gonna are they gonna have? Valky's kind of good against them, right? Just got few Titan and pay six mana. I think I should probably just bottom a land. T champed. It's kind of not the viewers who just say nice things all the time. Not gonna lie. Um <clears throat> so if I just play for the gust or works. So I should probably just play Valky now. One bounce land. Play, an, play a second amulet. Play a bounce land. So we know they don't have bounce land Titan, right? Because or else they could cast one confirm. don't have Titan. Did they mulligan? They kept seven. So they probably have either Bounce Land or Titan. I don't think I would keep that hand without either. The question is, is my Valky going to be better as a seven drop? I could guess Titan Master and why not? Play an Amulet, play a Bounce Land, float six mana. Doesn't come into play tap. Wait. Wait, no, but Bounce Lands don't come into play. Oh yeah, they do come into play tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, we know they don't have both Titan and Bounce Lands. So the question is, do I keep Val? How fast can I cast the Valky? So we know... I always have to cast Valky. All right, I'm just gonna play Valky. I think by the time I get to seven mana, I'll hopefully, that's the reasoning anyways. Oh. Maybe I'm supposed to save all my fetch lands for uh, for when I draw Valakut. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't cast Dryad this turn. Oh, if I cast, mm. So if I cast Dryad this turn, as long as I keep Gust up, Pag does nothing for them, right? All right, so I should Foundry. Yeah. There's... Maybe 
It is tempting. I kill them, right? If I play Dryad and they don't top deck, I just kill them next turn. But I guess... Looks like we're probably gonna win. They're gonna pact. And then they can't pay for pact. That'd be pretty sick. I see that to go for it, though, just dead next. Problem is, when you 7 0, you never win the tournament. You usually lose in the quarters. It's the undefeated curse. You know what they say? Undefeated in the Swiss? I don't have a ton of interaction, really. And is this hand good? I have Explore, I also have Bolt of Explore potentially. I think I should probably keep. I think Mulliganing would be a bit aggressive. I'm kind of cursed anyways. The undefeated curse. Dust. I'll twitch sub if you tell your opponent, open your half. All right. They're probably not going to get the joke, but they're done. Pay up. Pay up, pay up. Easy money. <laughs> oh, make it. Up and lock sock. Thanks for the prime and Norwegian, I guess. NRWGN. Thank you for your prime as well. What an honorable person. Ooh, I drew my bolt. Does that do anything for me though? Red gets a. <laughs> And I should play Explore. And then of the Explore. Side right. Your Captain of Eos is pretty good against Brain to Light. Right away. Oh man. I think I just need to bolt it, right? Isn't it the same thing as uh I mean I guess it means that they can't play ballista and then Heliod? If I hold my lightning bolt, but I'm gonna take four, 
go down to 16. Next turn, they attack for 6. I go down to 10. They play a 2 2 Ballista. Hmm. Come tell. Take it, do it onto 16. I play a land, I say go. They attack for six down to 10. Play a free free ballista. I bolt it. They put me down to seven and then they have six damage. Yeah, I mean, holding the bolt could be good. But killing the captain now, I mean, it kind of depends if they have healing or not. What did they get with their second? They got Noble. They have three other cards in hand. All right. Kill Noble? What does killing Noble do? I can use Ranger to protect the combo whenever. Not really. It means they come. Let's say they have Heliod. They play Heliod next turn. Oh yeah, they just play Heliod next turn. And then Ballista the turn after that. All right. Um, I'm not sure. I can bring to light Val Valkyries how much? It's five down to two, right? So just trades for a Ballista. I don't have Valkyrie yet, so getting a Dryad doesn't do anything for me. I mean, I'm guessing I just pav the Ballista and if they want to sack Ranger, Captain, or Dryad. Because Bring to Light doesn't do anything really for me. Like a result, Bring to Light doesn't end the game on. They can't sack Ranger anymore once I've picked the card, right? They have to decide before. Surely. On Zach Ranger, I just get Valky and minus on Ranger. But then I. Hmm. Valky minus is not even that good. Dryad, maybe? If I get Dryad, they can just sack. Be easy, Fed. of being lethal. Valky minus is really bad if they have another ballista. 
And they got Hierarch with their second Ranger, which means they already have the second Ballista, maybe. At least Tabal Plus means they have to attack it and sag their Ballista. <coughs> Dry Dryad is... No, Dryad's not that good. Is Verdict just the best, somehow? You can just range to me minusing it. I'm not gonna get it. I'd have Skyclave in their deck. All right, that's a good point. So minus the sack. Then if they have another hierarch, any time. But if they have, if I minus and they have ballista, on seven I can still. Hmm. Cause I have scape shift. I mean, if I plus, I can. And if they have ballista plus, it's probably better. Plus, I don't know. All right, we just win next turn. I mean, they can still like sack captain. They can have like, I guess they can't have it all, right? No, they can have Ballista and Heliod and go captain for four, shoot Tibalt for one, down to two. Play Heliod and have a 1-1 one, one Ballista and a Heliod out. And then the Sack Ranger and I can't kill them with Scape Shift. But I still get a redraw to Valkut. The Ballista plus Heliod, you can just minus three. No, because they can attack it for four and ping it once. Got my first vaccine and I come back and my favorite streamer is X Zero Pog. Hey. Thanks, Nivets. Thanks for the reset. 27 months. Congrats on getting the vaccine. Um, how do I play this turn? Is the answer? I think explore, right? Oh, I get an extra land too. So I get like 21 damage, right? The meanies. Try to do me dirty like that. Doesn't matter in that case, but. All right, I was pretty lucky drawing that bolt in that path. <clears throat> All right, white green company. Anger seems good. Ren and six might be good. Daily Quest, is Platinum Imperium good? No, Gust might be good. Gust is good against Company. 
Gus is not very good. Cleansing Wildfire is pretty bad. Teferi is probably medium. Let's see the medium cards. What are they boarding? Good question. I don't know. They kill recent list. Literal zero, they have like no nothing. They can start things for the raid buds. <clears throat> We're playing against the, <clears throat> the guy you lost to for top eight, I think. Welcome everyone. It's been a while since I top eight her. Anyways, hope you had a good stream. Is Ether Gust better? than other cards. I don't think so, honestly. A red might be bad on the draw too. The fairy's pretty bad against Yeah, I don't like Gust in these matchups. How do I beat Infinite Life by the way? Does Valky beat Infinite Life? It doesn't really. I guess I make my own infinite life or something. Can steal their combo, Jesus Christ. That's a timeout waiting. To I'm never, never, never winning that way. Wildfire or gusts? I'll just do the wildfire. Someone else, someone, someone ran out of time. Let's turn to Valky and then Dryad. Is this not a good hand? Valky into turn three dryad was pretty good against them. Uh, overgrown tomb into flax. So next turn I can play Flagstone Valky, and then I can go Omnath fetch land. You got an arb. Huh. Yeah, Valky into the mouth was overgrown to him. It's kind of nice. All right. Well, I slowed them down at least. It's not too bad for me. All right. Oh, well, I guess it's Dryad, though. Biome? Probably. <laughs> oh, they floated wrong. Whoops. Or did they have the sprawl on white? No, never mind. They had the sprawl on white. Uh, huh. 
Verdict try does damage to players, right? First, right? And use the. I'm not going to explore. Oh, wow, I think. Huh, easy clap. That's probably GG, right? Should I play the land or wait? I don't think playing the land makes sense. Hey, Doom Switch. Should I fetch in response in case I have... No, that makes no sense. I'm gonna dry those old mountains. I think if they hit Skyclave, they're at nine, so any land kills them. I think I probably should have sagged that in my upkeep. All right, GG's. I was not cursed. We'll never know if it was random or not. Lost the die roll. My hand's pretty good though. I'm assuming this is this is a cue me dead on their turn four, but oh, it's Obosh. That's a bad matchup. Mm -hmm. Dry seems decent against Red. Too bad I don't have bolts. <laughs> I'm gonna lose because I played one path instead of the force bolt. <laughs> Did nothing for me all, all day. All right, doesn't look like their draw's the best. Land on turn one? No, never mind. Blood Moon incoming. Uh, that'd be nasty. I have Dryad actually. Blood Moon would be nice for me. Do I want to the stage? So maybe we don't care that much. So I could just draw. Right. I don't have Hollowed Fountain in my deck. Play the fetch land. And take the damage. And then play Dryad and have Path up. I guess I can still do that. Is there a downside to playing Heath? I don't think so, right? Minimal downside. The de yeah, there's like no downside, I think. Yeah, I can save the. Might want to path now, right? I guess it's still the same spot, right? Better. 
for sure I fetch white. <clears throat> Pathing the now is probably pretty good. Saves me a lot of saves me two damage this turn, two more damage next turn. Path dried in response to removal. They only have two cards in hand. That's a good point though. Go down to twelve. It's pretty reasonable, honestly. It's a pretty big deal. they attack me and they start throwing burn at my face I can path then path slows them down but I might just lose the game if they can kill a drive and then can kill a drive next turn then my hand is basically a flame slash Patience from Zell. Am I died to am I dead to bull plus Levidart? No. What was that? Oh, blister called weird. Alright, so I can go bring to light. Or I can just go omnaf, gain four, have bolt up. Seems really good, no? I mean, I have all the amazing options. Verdict first, really? Seems like a way to get out tempo to death yell. I'm just gonna play on NAF. Question is, do I bolt Swift Spear now? What does that one do? Whenever you cast, oh, it's like fake prowess. <sighs> bolt now might just be the play. They draw Lavadar plus a spell. Oh, they actually had burn plus Lavadar. <laughs> Could have gotten nasty. Now what, like Valky Plus maybe? They have no cards. I could, and next turn I can bounce Blood Moon and Scape Shift. Safest, I'm at 10. I mean, there's almost no out. What about getting a dryad? Getting a dryad is also really good. Yeah, I could down take on their creature and recast, or I could plus. I think plus. I'm just gonna move both key. I don't think it matters. So the best they can roll is a bold down to five. I mean, they have all one mana, one mana spells in their deck, right? I don't have basics left in my deck. Just better, I guess.
I not do I not have the right mana? Um I'll figure something out. I mean I can ultimate Valky next turn. So even if they draw land for Blood Moon, I'll be okay. That's obviously not great though. I could have killed them this turn if I just floated the Why do my lands still make all is it not oh, I guess I should play Swift Spear first. I'm gonna time out against the burn deck. Game one, just really slow, and then, I mean, I'm not blaming Chad, but just saying. <clears throat> All right, can I not kill them? Oh, it's like, oh. Cool way to win the game. <clears throat> Finally, chat, daily quest is planning on good. It's your time to shine, yeah. All right, the fairy seems bad. I think verdict's probably way too ambitious. Rage, can rage, can rage. Recut Reclaimer? Yeah, maybe. That makes sense. I like it. Do I keep like all my targets? Or do I max Cleansing Wildfire? For the subs, easy flow. Thanks for the prime and and Delana. <laughs> Thanks for the ten months. <coughs> Did they bring in anything spicy? I don't know. Maybe Molten Rain. I want the fairy to bounce Blood Moon. You can't really tutor for it. Can't get it. Was Bring to Light. Bring to Light's better. I don't think they they played maybe one weird right. Ryan and six, not good in this matchup. I have Blood Moon. What did CSPVD say? A braid disable Obosh. Oh, yeah, right. All right. I think this is good. 
I mean, honestly, having Madcap Planet, if it means they have to bring in artifact removal, it's like we're trading, right? In some ways, I have to bring in Shattering Spree, it might lose them the game because they draw Shattering Spree and I don't draw my one Madcap. Pillage, yeah, Pillage is... I don't know if Pillage is stock, though. They're mulliganing. My hand is... Shrug? Fine-ish. One Explore, one Bring to Light, is that fine? I mean, it's not like you ever have amazing hands with this deck. What am I hoping for? They even have Flame Slash, so it's not like Dryad Lifts. Hoping for removal. I think I'll keep. I can go for two basics with the flagstone. Yeah, didn't think about that. <clears throat> uh, Drew the worst basic. Um, all right, so basic planes is decent, I guess. I think flagstone makes sense. I just sandbagged. Sandbag. No light up. I think basic planes is not that it enables um uh, as Valky is pretty, it means that you can bring to light for two against Blood Moon and still have a good target. Basic Allen instead of Basic Mountain. How many rounds to all? It was seven rounds of Swiss and a top eight. Can I play another land? I think I tried. No, I played Flagstone. Pillage. Yikes, scary. Basic forest down. <clears throat> I mean, I can't do anything besides play Triumph, right? And then cry. Cry if they have Blood Man. Damn. Flagstone, I would have won. Uh, okay. Well, we know they have pillage. Also, just draw the plan, be good beats. Saying bag it. Um, yeah, maybe. All right, should I bolt? They can block and then bolt. And then lab a dart at once. Bolt Swift, you have Valky against Obosh. I don't need What's that? What's that about? Do they play a land every turn of the game? They haven't, so we know they have all spells. I 
crush is five toughness. Never mind. Why did I think it was a five free? Yeah, I agree with Bolt and attack. I mean, I'm, I don't hate it. They have to use two burn spells to keep Swiss Spear alive. It means they have like two less, two less burn spells to throw at Obosh. All right, I'm not sure or not. Yeah. Catch <clears throat> probably. Do I attack into Bone Crusher? I mean, once they have Obush in play, it's probably pretty trivial for them to. Oh, never mind. They just have it. Just like have ball plus dart or something. Stomp. Rip. All right, so I need to draw a purge. Purge. Yeah, thanks. Purge or bust. Two outs, wrong one. I can't believe there's multiple people trying to tell me to cast Bring to Light. Maybe you want all the cleansing wildfires. Be all less, all less greedy. Path kind of sucks. I, mean, I guess it's kind of good I'd get in a basic. It's kind of cute. Great clear on the play. I don't know, it stays tied to a bolt. Seems not great. And cleansing flagstone opening seems just so good, but it's hard to assemble because I don't have that much red. How many red sources? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Never mind, I have nineteen. Feel like you want four cleansing. Yeah, I kind of despise path. A clear. <clears throat> May escape shift is win more. No, escape shift is good. I could cut Bajuka bug, I guess. What do I bottom? Is good bottom bring to light. Do I need that third land? Do I need that third land? I 
have a lot of lands in my deck. It's not like Foundry helps me cast any spells, right? It's like green or bust. If I don't keep the land, I can't cast Bring to Light. And if I keep Bring to Light, then I won't have the lands to cast. Draw steps our lands. I'm going to be too greedy. I have five cards in hand. Such a tough matchup. It's apparently Dryad and Blood. Blood Moon and Dryad, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Sad. Go. Which land should I kill? Wrong. <laughs> Could have waited. See what I drew. It comes into play tapped. Had a lot of green cards in my. It's kind of whatever. <clears throat> I think I played fine. A bit slow, but fine. Okay, it's something, I guess. Ah, uh, yikes. I don't even have any outs, right? I need runner, runner. Blood Moon, fun for everyone. Rough. Okay.